Hello. Happy anniversary. To me. Almost one year ago, I uploaded my first video on YouTube. The channel's first anniversary is actually tomorrow the 28th, but that's on a Tuesday, so I'm putting this video up today. Yay! So before I get started, for this iconic occasion, I drew a special illustration featuring my character Nadia, who is also the main character of my webcomic. I uploaded a short featuring her a few months back, but now she's here too. Eating cake. Ironically, I don't have any cake with me, so me drawing cake will have to do, I guess. Now, on to the anniversary special. Let's go back to the beginning here, or shortly before that. Prior to joining YouTube, I'd been debating starting a channel for about five years beforehand, and specifically, I wanted to join BookTube. I'd been watching videos in the meantime, watching people talk about books for 10, 20 minutes straight, and thought, man, I want to be like that. But there was one problem. Stage fright. The whole channel business came up again in 2021, when I thought, maybe I actually should do it. There was a conversation with my dad involved as well, and we even tossed a few ideas around. I think we talked about posting artwork too, so that may have been the origin story of me posting my art on this channel. Er, something. I don't remember all the specifics. I think we even discussed posting videos where we talk about books together. Who knows, maybe one day we'll see a tea slurping art school grad and an old man bicker about books for half an hour? Nevertheless, the idea of finally starting my YouTube channel was stuck in my mind for the next few months, and I spent some of my free time doing some research, including video schedules and focusing on certain topics. Then came filming day. I'd already resolved to get to filming my first video a couple of days before, and with the equipment I'd bought several months prior, along with the camera I had for my college days, I felt ready to rumble! I got my whole setup going from the positioning of the camera to the books to the script. But, again, there was one problem I hoped wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it was stage fright. I hadn't been in front of a camera under these circumstances in about seven years, and even in my high school film class, I'd never gotten fully used to it. As a result, what now takes me only a couple of hours at most ended up taking five and a half hours of my day. I spent more time than I should have trying to suppress my stage fright and getting caught up in line delivery, and just overall trying not to boot my pants. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Editing was the easier part, and that was because I had some knowledge of iMovie left over from the time I worked with it on a project in my first year of college. I also worked with Premiere Pro in high school, but as we all know, it's not quite the same. And then came February 28th. I'm not sure what made me settle on uploading videos every Monday, but I just went with it, and it was on this day that I uploaded my March TBR. At the time, the goal was very simple. Talk about books and vibe and have a good time. I uploaded a few more videos over the next few weeks, and two of my earliest videos practically blew up. First was my booktube newbie tag, and that was a video I had a lot of fun filming. The other video was my review for Priest of Bones, the first book in the War for the Rose Throne series. Believe it or not, I was pretty much experimenting with that particular art style, as most of my other art tends to be more simplified than what you saw in that video. But I was very happy with how it turned out, despite the laborious process of drawing it. Over the next few weeks, I uploaded more videos of me talking about books, and in general, I was just having a fun time. Did I actually smell any books behind the scenes? Uh... Maybe. Did it actually get easier talking to the camera like some people told me it would? Yes, actually. And there were a few videos that I had a lot of fun filming, like the book tags and the speed paints. I also had fun working on my travel vlogs as well. All two of them. <laughs> Speaking of traveling, I was actually on vacation when I reached a YouTube milestone. On the night of July 12th, I was chilling in Amsterdam when my dad gave me marvelous and iconic news. I reached 100 subscribers. So I celebrated with my... <clears throat> super special 100 subscriber special. That was another video I enjoyed putting together as well. I did a couple more book reviews along the way for books that I really enjoyed, including The Mask of Mirrors and the Age of Darkness trilogy. I definitely want to do more book reviews soon, so I'll probably look through all the books I've read over the last couple of years and see which ones I want to talk about. I found that all of the videos where I draw something seem to do better than my other content, which is good because I like art, and it definitely gives me motivation to release more art on the world. So that is what I'll do. Some of my other videos that have done well include my Halloween special and my first character sheet video. Mm. So let's talk about those two. The Halloween special was something I had planned for months beforehand, but initially I wasn't sure how to go about it, even though I wanted it to have that creepy Halloween vibe. 
At one point, I wanted to do a horror story type thing to go with the Halloween spirit, but I ultimately went with the content you see in the final video. The Paranormal Enthusiast's Guide to Halloween. Ultimately, it worked out in the end, because by that time I'd been interested in the occult for two years. So what better than to talk about a topic that greatly interested me? Also, I needed an excuse to bust out my witch hat. The other video I think has been mentioned at least 10 times at this point, and that is the video of me making the character sheet for one of my characters, Marielle. AKA Magic Owl Lady who's never up to any good, even if she says she is. How do I know? I created her, just trust me bro. I've been working on the character sheets for my webcomic for a while now, and I've still got a few more to go before I can get to formal character illustrations. But not to worry, I've got every intention of getting to that. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting the video of Marielle to be my most watched video on the channel, so needless to say I was shocked when I learned it was blowing all my other videos out the water, and it's currently got about three times the view count of my second most popular video, my booktube newbie tag. Which is kind of insane. But I've said it before and I will say it again, thank you to everyone who got me to that point because as I've also said, that's given me a lot of motivation when it comes to my webcomic. I think that's all I have to say about the past year, so let's move on from the reflection part of this video, because now I want to talk about some series on the channel that you'll be seeing more of, as well as some series that may get some adjustments. Of course there will be more book reviews, which brings me to the series I launched last year and never got to update. Why you should read. The first video in that series has enjoyed relative success, and I definitely want to expand on the series like I said I would. I'm not yet sure what book or series will be the subject of episode 2, but the Lycanius trilogy is a viable candidate as of right now, so we'll see. I also want to expand on the series in another way also. I said I was going to do show reviews too, and I want to tie this in with some of my already existing content on the channel. Why you should read, for example. So in other words, you're not just getting why you should read, but you'll also be seeing some videos called why you should watch from time to time. Another series you'll be seeing a little more of, though not in the same way as before, is The Painting Saga. So I have good news, the painting is 98% complete. Finally! All that's left to do really is to add the finishing touches and the top coat or varnish or whatever it's called, my brain's not working, and it will officially be done. I do intend on releasing parts 5 and 6 of the painting saga, which will be the last two parts as shorts. This painting has taken way longer than it should, though to be fair to myself, I was busy with channel work and really wasn't able to take a big chunk out of it until I went on hiatus. But I'm glad it's finally out of the way. I finally crawled out of the depths. I'm free! Another series that will be getting an overhaul is State of the Books. This is a series that was launched in August dedicated to updates on my reading exploits and was originally released every month. I'm thinking what I'll probably do from here on is make it a seasonal update series where I talk about priorities related to books I want to read and shows I want to watch. I may also talk about current reads like I did before, as well as shows I may currently be watching as well as my thoughts on those. So nothing too major when it comes to state of the books, but definitely something different. Lastly, cooking with Christine, because I feel like I should address this. As fun as filming those two videos were, this series is going to take a backseat. Mostly for the sake of keeping this channel organized. You will still see my cooking shenanigans from time to time in the form of shorts, but yeah, that's the long and the short of it. All in all, I think I've had a pretty decent first year on YouTube. Here's to more speed paints and shenanigans and who knows what else for me. And if you're interested in seeing where my channel will go from here, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We've got spaghetti! <laughs> Anyway, that's that for my first anniversary special. I hope you enjoyed my period of channel reflection here, and I also hope you enjoyed me experimenting with my coloring style, because I'm not gonna lie, figuring this out was chaos. But I think it all worked out well in the end. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you for sticking around. Also, just a reminder that I'll be posting every other Monday from here on, so no new video next week unless I've got something else to talk about but you will see a new video the Monday after that. And yeah, that's it, I think. Thanks for watching.